Uh, no, you're right. And, and, you know, and it's not just that, you know, some of the other uh, things that, that we have problems with that you'd love to see a senator paying attention to. Uh, for instance, in, the, in Iraq and Afghanistan, I wasn't in Afghanistan, but I was in Iraq. And I mean, the amount of contractors that the Cheney types hired for that thing uh, to replace soldiers. Yep. In other words, we had massive amounts of cooks, food yep. service specialists, uh, and they didn't cook because the third country nationals cooked. Yep. The people from the Himalayas, the Nepalese, they did all the cooking because we contracted it out. So we got all these sergeants running around with thermostat or with uh, thermometers, laser thermometers, making sure that the salad bar is cool enough. You know, it's, I mean, it is unbelievable. And I it's a, stupid too, because all these rhinos that are supporting these wars, them or their extended friends or family are the ones that are running those contractor companies. Like we've talked right. about. Oh my God. I'll tell you maintenance, equipment, maintenance. These people would go to a unit and they would find the fat guy or the guy that couldn't run, you know, somebody that was, that was iffy on whether he could stay in or not. And they'd offer him a hundred thousand dollars to stay as a civilian, as yep. a mechanic. So they robbed the unit of this guy. He gets out, goes back and makes a hundred, 150,000 tax free. Uh, and my mechanic is guarding the gate somewhere. Right. You know, well, and, and the worst one, in my opinion, is Alexander Vindman, who came out. He was the one behind the whole Trump Ukraine. He's the and epitome he, of what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. The epitome. He, he is pushing for this Ukraine-Russia conflict. He's working behind the scenes to do it. As things start ramping up over there, he leaves government service, and him and his brother launch a company yep. that specializes in maintaining heavy equipment. And he, it's a country, it's a company that's based in Ukraine and he's sitting there just waiting. And then as we start sending in billions of dollars of equipment, coincidentally, Alexander Vindman is in such a fortunate spot because all of these, all this equipment needs servicing and nobody in Ukraine in knows true, how to service In them. true Cheney, Liz Cheney fashion, by right. the way. And I'll tell you, I had a, and they're smart. Because when you look at it, they do things to put you in between a rock and a hard place. If you're an army guy, yeah, I'm sitting there trying to oversee five brigades of equipment, and the army has certain, the military has certain uh, programs, you know, uh, software programs that we use to to track maintenance and spending and parts and things like that. Well, what does the support maintenance contractor that I have to go to has his own proprietary software system? Yep. So I have to go ask him how my equipment's doing. I can't just look and see. Yep. I, 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 I said, look, I'll give you this system. I got an extra system. I'll give it to you. Use this one. So I, oh, no, we can't do that. I go and look up the board of directors of this company, Jason, at five guys, all military except one lawyer. Yep. All retired Marine Corps, Army. It's disgusting. It should be illegal. Don't forget to share your comments below and visit and share waynedupree.com for latest news and opinions. Follow us on social media platforms by searching for at Wayne Dupree Show. Thanks for listening.